Hello, in this tutorial we will be looking at how to use Adobe Shape Creative Cloud to um, basically take a photo of a sketch that we've drawn by hand on paper and turn that into a vector image which can be edited in other applications like Adobe Creative Cloud Illustrator. So um, to get started you really need to have an Adobe ID which is free to get so if you go to the Adobe website or the Creative Cloud website sign up for a free Adobe ID. If you already um, have an Adobe Creative Cloud subscription, then you should already have an Adobe um, Creative Cloud ID. So if you don't, sign up, make a free account, and then you'll need to download Adobe Shape Creative Cloud on your own device. So you can download it on iPhone or iPad from the App Store. And if you have an Android device, and then you can download it from the Google Play Store. So that's the first thing that you'll need to do to download it. And once you've downloaded it, you can basically um, draw a sketch, um, sketch something on paper, and then use the app to take a photo of that sketch. And the app has the ability to recognize lines and shapes and basically um, draw up those lines, draw up those shapes, and make a vector image, which um, can be edited in other programs. So you can change the color of the lines, you can change the thickness, you can add more to it, you can fill in shapes, you can do all of that in other programs like Adobe Illustrator. So um, firstly, make sure you have an Adobe ID, then download Adobe Shape Creative Cloud, and um, then we'll get started taking some photos of our own sketches. So here I have a sketch of a star which I am going to scan with Adobe Shape Creative Cloud which will basically grab all of the lines from this sketch and turn it into a vector image file which I can work with in other applications like Adobe Illustrator. To get started with Adobe Shape just open up the app on either your iOS or Android device and once it's loaded, it will give you a live preview of the shape that you have drawn. So using the camera, it will show what you've drawn on the screen. And live preview will basically highlight the lines in green. And you can switch between live preview and shape preview by just tapping the screen. So um, shape preview will give you a preview of what the lines will look like once the um, image has been snapped. and live preview gives you an actual preview of the actual drawing that you've sketched and the green lines on top that are highlighted. So you can see at the moment that not all of the lines are green. So we can, we can uh, increase the sensitivity by moving this little bar on the right hand side up. And now you can see that a lot more of the lines are being highlighted. But if we go too far, it gets too much detail. So we might just need to reduce that a little bit. Now we can um, tap the screen again to go to shape preview and that looks pretty good. That looks, um, you know, it's, it's highlighted pretty much all of the lines there um, with pretty good detail. So all we need to do now is just take um, a picture of that. So press the little camera button there. Okay, it snapped the shape. Now uh, we can refine the shape. So we can actually tap lines to um, deselect them and um, when this little minus button is showing or we can move that across to the right so it's got a little plus sign and then we can tap lines again to select them again so if there's details that were captured that you don't want then you can um, toggle between the little minus and plus sign there to remove lines and to uh, keep lines okay once you're happy with the shape just um, press the little tick icon and then basically Adobe Shape CC is going to um, draw out this shape. It's going to create a vector file. So it's doing that right now. Um, it will depend on the detail of your drawing and the size of your drawing. So a very small drawing should only take a couple of seconds, but a drawing with more detail might take um, a minute. So there we go. We just need to give it a name. So I can just call it something like star. Done. Okay, and now it will be in my library. So um, I can choose where I want to save it to. So I can either create a new library or I can use my existing library, which I'll do. Okay, make sure you give it the permissions to access your photo gallery because it will also save it there. 
All right, so you can see there's a couple of other um, little drawings here that I've already done, but my star is now shaded there to my saved there to my library. So what I can do now is I can share that. So I can press the little share button. I can send it in a message or email it, um, or I can save it to my um, photo library on my device. The problem with this though is it will save it as a JPEG image. So if you want to go and edit this shape in Adobe Illustrator and you want to cut lines or change the color and thickness of lines and add more to it, then you can't do it this way, okay? It needs to be a vector image. It can't be a JPEG or bitmap image. So what you'll need to do is just save it to your library, which we've already done. And then uh, you can go onto, um, onto the web, onto this device or another device, and you can go to the Creative Cloud website and you can download the drawing as an F SVG uh, vector image and you can open that up in um, Adobe Illustrator or other programs, okay? Which is what we'll do now. Okay, so once you have um, taken some photos of sketches using the Adobe Shape Creative Cloud app and you have synced them to your Creative Cloud um, account, you can go to the Adobe website, so just adobe.com and sign in using your Adobe ID. Once you've signed in, you can manage your account, um, but if you scroll down to assets, you can view your different um, libraries and files. So firstly, we'll go to files, and that will take you to the Adobe Creative Cloud website, where you can view all of your Creative Cloud files that you've worked with in other applications like Photoshop and Illustrator. Um, so all of my files are here, but to see, um, the work that I've created on the mobile apps, I need to go to libraries and it will load my different libraries. I only have one library, so I need to tap that and click on that. And then it will show all the different um, sketches um, in that library that I've made using the Adobe Shape app. So this is a star that I drew by hand on paper and I took a photo of it with the Shape app and turned that into a vector image. So you can see that it's an SVG uh, vector image file and it's 20 kilobytes in size. So if I click on that, it'll give me all the information about that file and I can um, either delete it or rename it. But if I click on Share, I can send a link. So I need to click on Create Public Link to share this with others. but um, a good idea is to also click on advanced options and make sure that allow downloads is ticked so that your friends can actually download this shape and work with it. So there's the public link. You can right click on that and copy the link and share it with somebody or you can just enter in their email address and send the link to them that way. Once they've got the link, then they can actually uh, save it to their Creative Cloud um, libraries, their own account and then they can open it in apps like Adobe Illustrator, which is what we're about to do. So now that this file is in um, my Creative Cloud uh, library, I, can, I can't really work with it on the Creative Cloud website. There's not much I can do here except share it. So if I go to Adobe Illustrator and I go to File and just make a new document here, I'm not gonna worry about the size or anything here, just click on OK. I've got a blank document. If I go to Window and then Libraries, this is how I access my work. So there's a little drop down box there where you can um, view your different libraries. I've only got one library and it's called My Library. And all of my um, sketches from the Adobe um, Shape app are all here. So if you click on them, it's not really going to do much but you can drag them onto your document here. So I can drag this star on and let go and I can resize that. I can um, edit this and work with it now. So an important thing to note is that this is probably all going to be um, fill shapes. So all of these shapes have a fill color. They're not actually um, strokes. They don't have a um, stroke color. So there are lines here, but um, 
they're actually filled in with a fill color. So what you see here, if I highlight this and I change the fill color to red and the stroke color to green, if I zoom in on this, you'll see that most of the sketch is actually just a fill color between two lines. Okay, so it's just filled between lines. Um, so if you want to work with just lines, if you wanted to do something like laser cutting, then you're going to have to get rid of the fill color and just work with the lines. Okay, now you'll see that there's actually, for the outline of this star, there's not actually one line, there's two lines which we use to um, fill in with another color. So if you double click on these lines, then you select individual lines and double click on those, you can delete lines. Oops, do that again, delete. And now we just have a single line for the outline of that star, okay? Should be able to do the same for these other shapes here. Double click and then try and select an individual line. It's probably not gonna work so well with this shape, but if you select an individual line, you can delete it. I'll just undo that and I'll undo what I did before. So just remember, it's not just strokes here. It's not just stroke lines. They're actually filled in as well. So um, you'll need to work with it um, in a slightly different way to what you might normally do when you're um, drawing lines in Illustrator. So what I'm going to do is I might uh, fill it back in again. I might increase the stroke size to three point. Okay, and I could go and then edit this another different way. So I could bend these lines here, touch it up a little bit, fill in the whole shape with a different color, maybe copy the shape and make some smaller ones around it. So there's lots that I can do, but basically that is how to open up uh, an SVG vector file that you've created using Adobe Shape. And that's how to open it in Illustrator and start working with it. You can't really open it from or download it from the Adobe uh, Creative Cloud website. If I try to right click and save this image, it won't actually allow me to save it as a vector SVG image file. It will try and save the entire web page. So you can't do it that way. You have to go into Adobe Illustrator, click on Window and Libraries, and then open up the library that it's saved in or that it's synced to from the app and just drag your work onto a new document. All right, so that's how to use Adobe Shape and how to import your work into Adobe Illustrator. Thanks for watching.